Okay, what's going on, my guys? This is your boy Brad down in the RPO laboratory again, here with another bike check. Um, I know we're coming into the fall season, so riding's starting to slow down a little bit, and then we hit winter here in the northeast of Pennsylvania, where we are located about, I want to say 45 minutes northwest of Philly. So gets pretty cold. We had a mild winter last winter. I was able to ride through, which is pretty nice. So let's keep our fingers crossed. And like I said, I want to keep this channel going throughout winter. Uh, I haven't talked much about myself, but I will be going through a uh, wrist fusion this year. So if anyone's dealing with something or any issues with their wrist, um, I will be getting this fused this winter and going through the rehab and stuff. So I can uh, let you guys know how that goes as well. Um, and also, for those of you that just want to get the bike check in, I will be happy to, you know, run through the parts real quick and especially try to get that in within 10 minutes and keep my volume up a little bit for you guys. And then after that, uh, for those of you guys that just, you know, can watch some YouTube, you don't get that much BMX content or you've watched all the BMX content and you just have a channel maybe in a bike shop and can play some videos. I'm going to talk about some of the parts I like that I keep here in the shop and some of the parts that maybe I don't. And in this case, um, this is one of probably my favorite builds. I always say that, but this build is really awesome. Um, this is a Stranger-ism frame by Bay Game. It is a 20.75 inch top tube and the color here is forest green. It is a really awesome frame, um, has a tall standover, I believe it's like a 9.5 standover, uh, and it's just, I, w I wanted to build it up, uh, I love Stranger's part. I'm not going to say I love Stranger parts, I'm not going to say like, but they can make some good parts, and the same thing with Primo, like, Primo does have some good parts out there, they're just, I think, a little, uh, I don't know what's going on right now. They're kind of getting things together. Um, so aside from that, let's get into the bike build. We uh, start at the grips. I have, this is going to basically be a Primo Stranger build. And I did a price check on it. And when I do the price check on it, I go to the Primo website, which is their, you know, pretty much the best site to go to for the parts and the prices on this. So all the way down to the grips, which are listed on there for 11 bucks. Uh, that's how I priced it out, and I will give you the price at the end. And we will start here with the Primo Chase D grips. Um, some bar ends, I just threw some metal uh, bar ends on there that I found. I Not really um, special. Um, the bars are the 9.25 ISM bars. These are pretty sick bars. Um, I believe they are straight gauge, but actually I double checked that, but I'm pretty sure they're straight gauge chrome. Um, this is the Primo Icon stem, which I believe is the cold forged uh, CNC finished stem. And it has this nice recess here for these forks, which are the Primo Infinity forks. They have a 25 millimeter offset and they are have a welded. Uh, you don't see it very often anymore. Most of everything's in vest cast, but these have a welded uh, dropout, I'm sorry. and. Uh, I think it looks pretty nice. I haven't thrown pegs on these. This bike is actually for sale in the shop. So if someone does get it and decide they want to throw pegs on, they're welcome to. Um, and over here, we have the Primo biscuit seat. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot the headset. Headset is just a basic set headset. I think it's a Primo headset, but I found a couple of uh, spacers and a headset cap that matched it pretty well. So, all right. To match the tan on the biscuit seat, which is Stefan August's signature seat. It is by, I believe, Primo and the Hourglass Theory. And it's super, super cushiony. It has this cool little Primo embroider, embroidering on the back. And I would say like, if you're looking for a seat that's comfortable, this is probably one of the best in the game. Once it gets broken in a little bit, I'd say it's probably the softest seat. There's a few new ones out that I have not tried that are corduroy that are all very much, I want to say based on this seat. Like this seat came out a while ago with the corduroy and now all of a sudden you see them all over the place. So 
This is the OG seat for the corduroy, and I, I just think it's still the best one. Uh, basic Primo seat post. It's not a super tall one. I know a lot of the guys um, on Stranger like to ride those seat posts up to like here, but this is just a smaller seat post. I wanted to keep the weight down on this as much. And if you do watch the Bay game, like, or if you watch a lot of those riders um, repping like Ism in uh, the Bay area, um, they ride a little different. They're a little more, uh, you know, they do a little more, um, I want to, not basic street, but a little more a different style of street riding. Stranger's known to do a little bit of a creative, you know, type of street. It's all freestyle anyway. Okay. I'm rambling. Continuing on. <clears throat> I just decided to do this. I threw the Primo tenderizers on here. Um, you can run these, uh, and if you do decide you like this bike enough to get it, I also have the uh, Primo Turbo plastic pedals, but I just think these are super sick. They have silver pins in them to match well with the Icon stem and to connect well with the probably my second favorite crank in BMX, um, the, Pre the Primo Churchill crank. Might be my favorite, not sure, but beautiful sleek crank, uh, very nice lines on it, very nice uh, graphics as well, and not to mention probably the greatest rider to ever do it in the shortest time. Um, 28 tooth Primo Griffin guard and polished. Can't say much bad about that, it just looks fire, especially up close where you can see like the Griffin lining um, and the laser print. Um, chain. I have an E-claw four-stroke chain. It's a half-length chain with cutouts in it to make it lighter. To be honest, this back end is so kind of weird compared to most back ends, and I could never find a chain uh, bike to fit this stupid chain. And so when I couldn't find the right chain, you see all those stranger riders and stuff with those slack chains and stuff. This is why, because they're like one off of perfect and like one and a half off too long so all the chains dangle um, whether it's a half length or a full length no home on that okay um wheels hub guards this one's a left hand drive to set primo balance hubs and the vsxl plus wheels they come straight out the box looking like that sounding like this from what i hear one of the strongest wheels you know to ride and along with that, the tires, I threw on some of the old school Primo wall tires, which they came back out with in a fatter version. This is a 100 PSI tire with, I know it's not a 2.4. It's a, I want to say it's a 2.35. It's 2.35. So it's going to fit everything. Plenty of space back here, especially. There's no yoke or anything on the bottom. Just plenty of space for it. Uh, flip this guy around a little bit for you. I'll show you a few more of the lines on. It's very smooth. It's got a nice Primo 20, 24 millimeter bracket that does come with the Churchill cranks. Um, back here we got dual hub guards. Hub guards on the front. <clears throat> and what's cool about the oh I, one of the best coolest parts about this frame is the engraving on the front. You get to see they have this super tall head tube. It's a it's five it's a five inch tall head tube, maybe a little taller, but definitely one of the taller ones. And it's got the stranger engraved right in it there, which pretty sick. This is they don't have these frames at the moment. I don't think you can find them anywhere. I believe, and I'm gonna be honest. I believe I got the last one from the distributor. So uh, this forest green ism. Hopefully they come back out because I'd like to see them in some different colorways, but it could be a while. And this one is very nice. Oh, okay. Now, as for the numbers, so those of you that wanted the bike check, bike check's pretty much over. Bike check is over. I named all the parts on here. Um, and now I'm going to go into what I really like and what the main questions are. So I'm guessing weight is a big question on this. I'm going to grab the scale in a second, and I'm going to do that math for you. I believe prior to putting the tenderizers on, I have some of this written down. So prior to putting the tenderizers on, you're going to pay, if you order this directly from, say, Primo and Stranger and take advantage of all the discounts, which I still think you might have to pay shipping. 
um, the parts come to $1,545. Uh, no, I'm sorry, $1,565. This thing's for sale here in the shop for $1,400 right now. And you're probably thinking, why should I buy it here when I can order it uh, somewhere else? Well, first of all, I have a pretty good discount on it. And not to mention that they already have a lot of these parts well discounted, which I did include. But I feel I pieced it together very well using a lot of um, a lot of the parts that were meant to go together, the flush uh, mount on from the fork to the stem, the 9.25 bar, which is like the perfect height, especially with a tall stem like this. And even if you want to perfect this look, which is why they have such a tall head tube, you can cut the fork down. They have notches on the forks and get a ballast headset or even use this headset and it will just sit perfectly there and give you the perfect rise. The Primo Chase D grips are, I always say they're one of my top three grips, but my, I would say my top three grips right now is I'm looking at some grips. These are definitely in it. I uh, want to say like you got the S&M Hoders, which are definitely awesome. Um, I don't carry those. Then uh, these are definitely in there. I want to say these are number two or no, number two Odyssey Travis Hughes, softest grip ever. Um, and those are for street. Like there's good ones that I like for uh trails too like I think the grind grips really good for trails because it's like the perfect length for the bars um, and also I'm gonna throw in a little giveaway this time I had a giveaway last time and it turned out it was a guy shout out Caesar <clears throat> um, he actually is one town over from me so I'm gonna give him this primo sticker pack and set of these uh, mustache RPO bar ends made by Zach Gerber, and some Spooky Dopes. That's going to uh, Caesar from Northampton. And this one now, I'm gonna ask you to tell me, what is your, when bars come, I feel like they've been coming wider and wider, like all the way to like 30 inches. Let me know what your favorite width bar is or what you think the, that like a good size bar should come in. Personally, I'm a fan of 28. I was going back and forth with someone on uh, in the comments and I believe he said the only bar that he could find that came in a 28 inch length was the fly Pantera so if you, anybody knows any others let me know that's like my you know perfect size and or maybe 27.75 I could I think I could deal with that too um, and as for the weight of this I did remember prior to the tenderizers being on it was 26.4 pounds so I'm gonna say these definitely added about 0.4 pounds so this bike would weigh in around 26.8 right now with metal pedals 28 tooth guard sprocket and decently beefy set of wheels which really isn't that bad it hasn't even hit 27 so um, nice bike gonna end the bike check there don't want to keep rambling hopefully I can keep this a little more consistent going into the winter months and keep you guys you know watching entertained I know I can ramble here a little bit, but let me know what I can do to improve in the comments. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what I can talk about. Shout out here in this uh, Northeast scene in PA. I may do some uh, videos where I just talk, you know, about some parts I like, parts I have here in the shop that I like, and, you know, maybe just about the scene that's going on around here. We have a really good scene. We have bunch of you know actually really good bike shops really close in the area here action wheels uh we which is bmx and uh they do a lot of road bike stuff cutters which does a lot of uh mountain bike stuff and even um north of us there's a few other bike shops up in wind gap and even though we lost penn skate i feel you know that there's enough riders in the area to keep this uh keep this scene going and uh you know, we spread the products out because that's what got me into riding uh, was the bike shop. I went to Action Wheels for the first time. I think it was located on Freemansburg Avenue in Bethlehem, PA. And I got a Diamondback Viper. And man, when I went in that bike shop and saw all the cool stuff they had, especially like the gloves with like the pads on them, 
that like hooked me from that point on like I was just I loved BMX I uh, always did I've taken breaks from it but you know I always seem to come back to it and I just it amazes me and I enjoy it so much but yeah that's what did it was the local bike shop and you know Action Wheels was awesome they've been through three different you know moves now and they carry a lot of S&M fit they got you covered on those S&M parts uh, I don't carry that stuff um, every now and then I get some pre-owned here and there but I try to change my distributors so if you know you're looking for idle you know something on on that's a different brand I don't know Primo Stranger um, I have them they you know and they don't have they have more than that too but either way we got great shops and we got a great area for riding so um, hopefully you know we'll have a good winter get through it and I can get some riding clips up on the uh, channel too before this uh, is completely shot so hope you enjoyed this video hope I didn't ramble too much like it in the comments let me know what I can do to improve and show you and let me give you some up close of this beautiful bike Nine point two five rise ism bars. I believe they're twenty nine and a half wide. That awesome stranger engraving. Preload SXLs and the infinity fork. Like and subscribe if you haven't. Hope you enjoyed this one. Peace.